Welcome to our ConvertKit tutorial for beginners. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know to get started with ConvertKit. So the main focus for ConvertKit is creators. So if you are an author, YouTuber, a coach, freelancer, personal trainer, anything like that, basically you wanna use email marketing as almost a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So ConvertKit does a really good job of that, of making your emails look like one-on-one -on -one email. So if you were to be sending me an email directly. We've been using ConvertKit for a couple of years now. I have experience using MailChimp, Aweber, HubSpot, and a handful of other platforms. And honestly, we ended up settling on ConvertKit because it's really easy to use and also very, very powerful, especially in terms of segmentation and automations, which you're gonna see a little bit as we go through the tutorial. One of the nice things with ConvertKit is about a year ago, they launched their free plan. So you can use ConvertKit for free up to 1,000 subscribers. Some of the automations you can't use with the free plan. And so what I wanna do today is show you what you can do within the free plan. So I'll create a new account step-by-step -step with you, and then I'll hop into our ConvertKit account and show you a little bit more with some of the automations and other things you can do with a premium plan. So let's hop on the computer and get started. Okay, so here we are at convertkit.com. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description so you can sign up for your free account. This is our affiliate link. So if you later decide to upgrade to a paid plan, we may earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. One of the things you'll notice is ConvertKit is always doing some type of challenge or you know doing a webinar or some type of thing to help their audience succeed using email. And you've just kind of scrolling through this. So connect with your fans faster, share your creative process, inspire the next generation, find your niche, turn your side hustle into a career. And this is easily share ideas, connect with your audience and earn an income. This is what one of the automations looks like. This is something very, very simple as far as saying, if someone has a certain tag, send them this, if not, send them that. We'll get into a little bit more about that later on. And then one of the nice things is you can get started for free. Also, if you go to the resources tab, they have a bunch of blog articles, video training, some live and some recorded. So there's a ton of content here to help you get started with email. To get started, just click on sign up free in the top corner. Okay, so they wanna know, are you moving from another tool or just getting started? So if you have a list already and you want help importing it into ConvertKit, choose this option, but we're just gonna get started. Do you have a website? So there's a bunch of tools such as Squarespace, Shopify, others that you can connect with. I'm just gonna click no for now. And then wanna know how do you describe yourself? So you can see here the main focus for ConvertKit. So artist, athlete, author, blogger, coach, designer, educator, musician, YouTuber, streamer, podcaster, etc. Let's say that I am a chef, why not? And then continue. And then here, create your account and then click get started. Okay, so what they want you to do first is to create a landing page. We actually have a video that walks you through step-by-step -step how to create a landing page in ConvertKit. I'll link to that up above right here. And so to do this, I'm not gonna walk you through in as much detail this time, but if we click on create page, and then it's gonna show you all of the landing page templates. So this is the one I did in the tutorial. And then if we click on say, we can preview or just choose one. And so I could say, choose the Archer template. And then you can see with all this, you can just update the text. You know, you can you know go through some of the general styles. You can update this background image. And then here, it's just asking for email address. If you wanted to add another form, let's say, you know, first name. So we could ask for first name and email. You could move first first name above email address like so. You know, on this, you can go through and change the color as well as the text. And so that's pretty much how the, the landing pages are going to work. You can either on this page tell someone thanks for signing up, or you can create a thank you page by clicking the plus button. And then there's already a pre-designed template and you can fill out some additional information here. One of the other things while we're looking at this really quick is if you click on settings, the way to send an automated email to someone after they sign up for your landing page or the same thing with forms would be what's called an incentive. And then right here, if you say send incentive email, so this is the, an automated email right when someone signs up, then you could click on edit email contents. And then here's what the email is gonna say now, but you can obviously change this. And then you can actually add in, you know, when someone clicks on this, what do you want to happen? And so if we just left it as so, clicked save, 
And then so here you can say after confirming redirect to either a URL or a download. So you can update this to deliver whatever it is you might be promising, say a freebie or something else. That's something we talk about in our getting started with email marketing video. I'll link to that up above right here. And then we can click save right here. And then from there, let's see, did I miss anything? Also the domain name. So you can select here's a, you know, it's just gonna give you a domain or, and then you can say, you know, hello. So the page URL is gonna be this slash hello, let's say, just like so, and then I could save it. Obviously you can connect the custom domain and you can fix to have a better domain within ConvertKit, but we'll get to that in a little bit. And so if we now click save and publish, and then if I go to, if I go to share, copy this link, and then here you go, we have our landing page all set up. So that was pretty quick, I think. Okay, so that being done, so save and publish, and then if we go back to, say, the home page, so organize your subscribers with tags and segments. So one of the things here, if we could say, you know, we can add different tags depending on different types of audiences. So be beginner chef. And then we could create another tag for say cook at home. So maybe we have audiences as far as people that like cooking at home. So that's one of the audiences that we have as far as a segment as well as people that actually are getting started want to be say a professional chef. So we have some tags now. So if you have an email list already and you want to import it into ConvertKit, you can click on add subscribers. Here's where you would add kind of a person at a time, a single subscriber. You can import from another provider if you didn't do it at the beginning as you created your account, or you can import a CSV file. And so here, if you had a CSV file, like this example here, you can just drag it and drop it like so. And then basically it's gonna to wanna to know, okay, so you have different headers within the CSV file, and then you wanna match that up to what's gonna be in, in ConvertKit. So you have first name and then email, obviously matches up with email. And then you can import the subscribers. And then you must add subscribers to a form sequence or a tag. And so let's add them to the cook at home tag and then import subscribers. Okay, so they're processing the import. You'll receive an email once done. I imagine it won't take too long, just given that there's only two. And so you can see, I just hit refresh and we have two contacts. And then, so one of the things I can show you, so when we imported the contacts just a second ago, it only gave us a couple of options for the different columns and what you could fill in. But if you click on a contact like so, the thing is right here, you can add a new field. And so you just give the field the name. So it could be, um, I don't know what it is, phone number. And then, then you're gonna be, then you can start to collect phone numbers as a custom field. It could be country. And then you can do update subscriber. And then now when you go into any of the contacts, you're gonna have these two extra fields. And so if there's something that you wanna collect from your audience, you can just add a new field and then start collecting that on landing pages or forms or anywhere else. And then you'll see also when you're in this contact, you'll once you actually start sending out emails and automations and everything else, you're gonna have a list of what emails you sent them, what automations they're part of, what sequences, forms, and if they've purchased anything from you, you can track all of that within ConvertKit. And then, so what you'll see along the side here, if you have different segments or tags, you can see how many people are subscribed to each one. Maybe the cook at home segment hasn't quite updated yet because these two contacts are a part of it. Okay, so now that we have a couple of subscribers, we have a landing page, let's just go through some of the basics for setting up your account. And so to do that, go to account settings. And so here, Jeff the chef. And then account domain, Jeff the chef. And then home page, landing page was that landing page that we just created. I didn't give that an individualized name. I forgot to change that. And then one of the things to be mindful of is on each of these pages, if you're making any changes, to go and click on save settings. Okay, so that has been done. And then down to email. So what I want this to say, so the from name, so I want, do I want to just say info at the figco.com or should it say something else? And so maybe I want to say JJ at the figco. 
That's my initials, by the way, Jeffrey John. Okay, and then so click the checkbox here. One of the things here is it just probably sent an email here for me to confirm that I actually own this email address. And so let's check that out now. Okay, so convert, confirm your ConvertKit account, verify your email. Okay, and then now if I refresh this page, it should... Okay, within a matter of minutes, the status should change from pending to confirmed. But while we wait for that, I'll just show you some of the other settings. So moving down down the page, so the default time to send email. So if you were to set up a sequence to send out, you know, one email a day, the default time it's gonna set it as whatever you have put right here. So if you say, you know, the default time, 10 a.m. Eastern time, any day of the week. The other thing that's really important is adding an address. And so at the bottom of each of your email should have a physical address. If you don't have one, I would recommend getting a P.O. box or there are certain mailboxes that you can maybe pay a couple bucks a month for. You probably don't want to put your home address here. So this next thing is important. Automatically append UTM parameters to email links. So what this does, if you use Google Analytics and you send traffic from ConvertKit emails to, say, your website, this will actually track and tell you, hey, these are all the people that you drove to your website from ConvertKit. So this will show you which campaigns are working the best and just give you a better idea of where traffic comes from on your website. And so this is all done automatically just by clicking the X right here. And then is there a save? And then save settings. Okay. And that takes you back to the account info. And then if we go to custom domains. And then so if you have a website, so if I own jefftheschef.com, I could go and add that domain. Jeff the dot com, what landing page would be your home page? And so if I chose this, then it's basically gonna change this page right here is gonna be the landing page that we just created. I don't own this domain and I don't wanna go through hooking all this up. There's step-by-step -step instructions right here. I'll put a link, I'll put the link to this down below. If you have a domain you wanna connect to your ConvertKit account, you can do that here. Then if you, they do have a way to actually sell thing with ConvertKits and a referral program. Let's go back to the email tab and see it's still pending. This, this, it'll now show up as confirmed. So let's save the password. Okay, so now I imagine if we go to the account settings, and then go back to email, it's now confirmed. So I basically had to click the link and then sign in, and then it confirmed the email address. Okay, so all this stuff is set up for now. So the next step would be to create an email. And so the, the main emails that you send out where you basically send it immediately or choose a day and time to send the email are called broadcast within ConvertKit. And so once you're here, you can click on new broadcast. And then so you'll basically choose what email are you gonna send it from. From that email page that I showed you earlier, you could have several different emails that you could use all within the ConvertKit platform. And then here's where you wanna select who are you sending it to. So it's automatically selected as everyone in your database. But if you wanted to filter that, you could basically delete this here and then you could add another filter. So all subscribers, Sub subscribe to within a segment, cold subscribers. So this is, you can send messages to people that haven't interacted with you in a while. If they don't interact with you, you may actually want to remove them from ConvertKit. You might be getting close to your thousand subscribers and have to pay for ConvertKit, or basically you pay as you grow with subscribers and you wanna just clean out your database every now and then for people that aren't interacting with you. You can segment it by country, distance from city, subscription date, and a whole bunch of other things. So if you say subscribe to, and then you could choose a form, sequence, tag, or product as far, so tags. And then so we wanna send it to the tag for people who cook at home and then add filter. And so as you saw earlier, I added that tag to the two people we have in ConvertKit right now. And so there'll be two people that will receive this message. Here you can give it a name, so you can say, um, chef email one and then down below click next step okay and so now here's where the main part of actually writing the email the most important thing is the subject line so what you want to do here is don't try to do something that's clickbait the thing you want to think about with anything to do with digital marketing is basically you want people to just take the next step and so for YouTube the thumbnail is important and what you want there is for someone to click 
The same thing with email. The subject line is to entice someone to click and read the message. In the message, you want to entice the person to actually click and go to maybe your website. And so it might be something like, do you cook better than your friends? The other thing is you can do an A-B test. And so if you click on this here, then you say, um, cook better than your friends. And so if you do this here, basically what happens is it sends out, I think, I can't remember the exact numbers, but it's a 15% to with this subject line and 15% with this subject line. And then it'll basically wait a couple of hours, see which one of these got more opens. And then it sends the better subject line to the rest of your audience. And so after the subject line is start writing the message. So here you can actually go in and add. So if I say hello, and then I want to add in a personalization. So I can click personalization, subscriber, first name, something like that. And then want to learn to cook better. Here's my guide. And then so if I want to make something a link, I can just highlight like so and then click on this here and then just put in the URL. And then so if I want specific triggers, if someone clicks on this, say I want, I could tag them to say, hey, if someone clicks on this, that actually means that they are a beginner chef and then add link. And so anyone who clicks on this link within the email is now going to get the other tag. And then the other thing, the, the plus button along the side here, you can add a image, file, video, divider, whatever you want to the message here. One of the main things with ConvertKit, it's trying to create as much as possible an, a one-on-one -on -one email. So something like MailChimp is much more highly designed. If you have an e-commerce fashion brand, maybe MailChimp is better. If you're trying to build one-on-one -on -one relationships at scale, ConvertKit, is the way to go. And so what you'll want to do here is something that you're going to see looks much more like an email that you would send to one of your friends. Hope to talk soon. Jeff. Okay. And so we have that. And then what I want to do is I can click save or next step. One of the important things here is so you can see what I mentioned before. So each variant will be sent to 15% of subscribers. The winning variant will be sent to 70% of subscribers after four hours. And so if you want to preview as a subscriber, all right, so here we go. You need to have at least three people to run an A-B test. So I'm going to have to actually go back. So here I can click on content. And then I want to delete the A-B test because I only have two subscribers. And then next step. And then now it should work better. Subscribe Preview as a subscriber. So if I say hello, at, so if I want to send an email here, and then I can go down. Okay, so you can see here I, I previewed at, to preview as a subscriber. So I put in one of our email addresses for ours. And it basically, this is what I put in for the first name. So it automatically filled that in for you. And this is essentially what the email would look like. And then if it's ready to send, I can then click send broadcast. Or if I want to schedule it, I could say, let's send it on Monday the 25th at 1 p.m. And then it gives me even further options. So I get sent it at 1.25. Or if I change and then I could just go back to unschedule and then it's back to immediately. And so if I then go to send broadcast, is this, do I want to send this? Yes, I do. Send broadcast and message sent. So that was your first email sent within ConvertKit. Outside of creating a landing page, one of the important things are forms. And so what I want to show you now is basically how to create a form and then add that to your website. So if you click on landing pages and forms, what you're going to see here, here's the landing page it had us create when we first created our account. And then you could click on create new. And so here's where you create additional landing pages or forms. So you can create unlimited of both of these with the free plan. And so for form, there's basically four types. So you have inline, which actually goes, you know, say within a blog post. Modal are the ones that are pop-ups. Slide in comes in in the corner. And then sticky bar is something like this along the top of the screen. So I'll show you the inline version right now. And so you can see they give you a bunch of different templates. Let's just choose a pretty simple one, like say the Powell. And so with this, you can see, you know, I can go through the same and update any of this text. I can update, say, the 
the content background. I can update, you know, information with the button and everything else. If I want to then go in and ask for additional information, I could hit the plus sign. And then for this, what I could do is I could ask for first name and you could saw below it said country or phone number, the other, the other fields that we added earlier for our contacts. And so if I was happy with this form, what I could do now, so if I go to settings, it's basically the same stuff as we saw with the landing page. So do you want the subscriber to see something like this when they sign up and basically where they sign up at or say, let's redirect to our homepage. So we could re redirect them there. Um, if you want to add a custom domain in, the incentive email. So if we want to send them, you know, something specific and get them to confirm their email, we can do that right there and then click save. So with that, we're pretty much all set. This form will now work. What we want to do one is save the form uh, and we can actually give it a name. So let's say test form one and then save it again. And then, so if we want to embed this on a website, you click on embed right here and then let's use the HTML. If you click in the corner, it will copy all of this text. I don't know what any of this means. You don't need to know what any of it means either. Uh, so we build our websites with Squarespace. We actually have a whole tutorial to walk you through how to get started if you don't have a website and you want to build one. I'll link to that video up above right here. So once you're logged into whatever web page builder or WordPress or whatever you're currently using, basically what you want to do is go to a specific page. So let's say our homepage. And then what we can do here, so within Squarespace, let's say at the bottom of our homepage, I want to add a new section like so, and then it's going to ask me, what do I want to add here? And so we would select code. And then basically what we need to do is just copy and paste what we just had. And it says display source code as HTML and then click apply. And then, so we have our form like so. And then if we then go to save, and then now if I go to our homepage and click refresh, and then scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the form right here. So this is actually a pop-up that we created within also you can see powered by ConvertKit. And so with that, you can then start to collect emails on your website. And so those are the main ways that you're gonna actually collect emails are through forms and through landing pages. And so from here, what I thought would be helpful is if I walk you through some of the automation. So this is some of the more advanced stuff within ConvertKit and you don't have access to with the free plan. So why don't we log out of here and I'll get into our other account. So here's what it looks like with a much larger account. So there's a little more than three subscribers. We're getting close to 30,000 subscribers. We've sent out over a million emails and you can see some of the analytics here. And so each day you're getting, you know, we get a bunch of new signups. And if we send out emails, you know, you're going to always get people that unsubscribe. And so what I want to show you here is some of the most powerful things with ConvertKit or really any email marketing software. And that has to do with the automation. So the automations are pretty easy to follow. You basically create certain steps. So this one, you know, when someone makes a purchase, we want to send them this sequence of emails. So we have one for personal branding, like so that basically if we open this up, Whenever this tag is added, so I think this is, we have a pop-up on our website for the personal branding course that's free, as well as a landing page that we built with lead pages, not within ConvertKit. We have a tutorial for that as well that I'll link to up above. And so when someone gets this tag, you're, we basically send them this sequence of, I think it's seven emails over a week. And so you can add a bunch of other things. So if there's another reason we would want to send people this emails, we could say, hey, if someone added this tag or makes this purchase, also send them this sequence. When someone finishes this sequence, we can also perform certain actions too. So we could unsubscribe them, move them, delay and do something else, add another sequence, add a tag. And so this is something that can get very, very com as complex as you basically want it to. And then, you know, to actually go through what this sequence of emails look like, we have to go back and then click on sequences. And so again, if we look for um, personal branding, and then so if we open up this sequence, what you're gonna see is we have seven different emails. And so day one, here's the message that gets sent. So you can see this is set for auto, for immediately. And then, you know, one day later, 
this message was sent. A day after day two, this email sent. So basically someone gets an email a day for a week. And so that's really all you need to do for the automation. One of the things is this very advanced to put in is you can put in a filter. So what could happen is, let's say someone to, to subscribe to um, products. So if someone actually purchased something after email five, and then maybe you don't wanna send them email six or seven, so you could basically add in a filter here for, for if someone purchased a particular product to stop sending the rest of the emails. So there's a ton of different automation, customization, segmentation you can do within ConvertKit. Honestly, this is one of the most powerful tools for our business. And so what if I, I'll just show you really quick how easy it is to create a sequence. So if I go to sequence, new sequence, and then give it a name, test Jeff the chef sequence, create sequence. And then so it pre-populates it with the first email. So the same thing as creating a broadcast. Think of some catchy subject line to get people to open it. Really good content, please open. You know, then we write this email. We want this, this could be sent a day later. After someone signs up, if you change this to zero, it's gonna be sent immediately. And then you can go through and add additional email. So email two, email two is great. So this is one day later. And then maybe we wanna send another email after one, so one hour, so you can send something a couple hours later, or let's say we wanna send something a week later. And you know you can go through and update these just like you did the broadcast emails. And now we have a sequence of three emails all ready to be sent out, and we just need to create the automation. So the automation, basically if we go to new automation, and what happens is if we go to create automation at if a certain tag is added so um, YouTube guide and then add event so at this tag is added then what we do is send them a sequence so if we look for chef and say we want to send this sequence to someone who signed up for the YouTube guide click add action and this is essentially the automation. So this needs to be turned on here and then in the actual email sequence, all of the emails need to be published and you're good to go. What'd you think? Were you able to follow along with the tutorial? If you want some additional help on creating a landing page with ConvertKit, check out the tutorial right here. Also, if you wanna see how we grew our email list from basically next to nothing to 30,000 subscribers in one year through YouTube, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those in future videos. Bye-bye.